BET this technique we use to find the specific surface area of a porous material what is porous material porous material are those material with the size of the pore is lying between 2 nanometer to 50 nanometer now we know that area has a unit of meter square but specific surface area means meter square per gram it means that if you take one gram of a material how much surface area it will cover this is called specific surface area this BET these are three guys and they develop this method to find the specific surface area of a material so we get this graph and this is called adsorption adsorption mean that they send nitrogen or argon gas and those gases adsorb one is called absorb absorb mean when something go inside adsorb mean when it stick to the surface this is why it's finding the surface area so the molecule adsorb and the pores and then it desorbed you see so this pink is for adsorb and this is for desorb this techniques give us the information that how much the surface area of our material for example if you are working on a graphene so graphene has a very high specific surface area i am not going to detail that surface area are good or bad sometimes surface area are good high surface area sometimes high surface area are bad in my case if you have large surface area you will have more diluting you will have more electron uh, interaction in some cases if you have large surface area then more recombination that is a problematic so let's see how we can uh, write about a specific surface area and uh, this is uh, we also call gas adsorption studies so let's write the specific surface area and we also find the pore size and volume volume distribution were studied by BET method in nitrogen adsorption and desorption environment you see sometimes you adsorb nitrogen and then you desorb nitrogen the particulate property of the sample such as surface area pore size and volume distribution are listed in table uh, for final you see this look this table I just choose three samples I synthesize one sample at 150 degree another is 180 degree another is 200 degree I use uh, hydrothermal method to synthesize three types of material I just varies the temperature it's a very good study so this temperature give me 50 meter square per gram this means that if you take one gram of that material and you lie on the surface here on the floor so it will cover 50 meter square area mean in one direction 50 meters in another direction 50 meters and you just combine it make a rectangle or something a square square sorry rectangle it make square 50 meter square uh, area it will cover if you take one gram of this material so the pore size you look here the pore size is 11.7 nanometer if the unit is in nanometer and the volume is this you look here the pore size are small so it uh, give more uh, uh, surface area this means that uh, if the material if you decreasing the material size you increasing the surface area it is against uh, our common intuitions if you ask somebody that if you decrease the size so he will say she did oh you decrease the size you decrease the surface area no if you decrease the size you increase the surface area because you are exposing more surface area for the reactions if you take the one spoon which have big big crystal of sugar and dissolve it and another take the same spoon and when you break those crystals which one will dissolve first the one which you break the sugar because you expose more surface area so the surface area increase when you decrease the size so you see this has surface area large because the pore size is less similarly this material has 180 uh, degrees even we synthesize the, the the specific surface area is 45 this means that if you take one gram of this material it will cover 45 square meter area so you see the pore size are increasing and the volume is also increasing here you see this one is uh, the 200 degrees C per the decrease <laughs> decrease the specific surface area and increase the pore size uh, let's go above 
uh, for the word we say, how we link this when you are writing in your paper or in your thesis. The PT surface area were this, this, this for respective material, you see. The lowering surface area could be due to the formation of multi-channel, you see, multifunctional. I link with this to the uh, TEM also ECM here, you see. And I link with my uh, disensitized solar cell here. You see here I says that uh, varying pore size are beneficial for disensitized so is they help large diluting and help improving parameter uh, permeations of electrolyte. Adsorption, desorption, isotherms of the three simple correspond to isotherm four. This means that if you are working in uh, BET or gas adsorption study, so there are six cough, six cough, and each cough represent. Uh, microstructure, mesophorous structure, this kind of structure. So um, these isotherms, which you get isotherms, so it represent mesophorous, like hysteresis. You see here, this part of three. So it's just like uh, hysteresis. You see, so it means that it shows a mesophorous material. Mesophorous material means that when the pore size are from two nanometer to fifteen nanometer. So this is relative pressure here because you are providing gas here and this is the quantity adsorbed uh, on that particular pores. Uh, uh, so this is the analogy here so you can clearly use the um, relation between the uh, different materials that which material have a uh, high specific surface area. So I hope specific surface area is very very clear that if you take one gram of any material and how much surface it occupies this is called specific surface area it it's play very important role and uh, advanced research like graphene has a specific surface area of thousand <laughs> thousand meters square per gram wow if you take one gram of a graphene it will cover thousand square meter area thanks for watching